Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Y'all saw in one of my earlier videos about planting sweet potatoes to get slips off of them to plant in the fields. Well, we've planted ours. You saw us planting them. Well, we've had some freak incidences take place here. We had an unusual frost about a week ago, and it knocked them back pretty hard. We forgot to cover them because I was having surgery, and it just got away from us. It's one of those things that just happens. But we was able to prune some of the leaves off of them before they actually soured down into the potato. And if Wanda can pan around here, you'll be able to see. They've made somewhat of a comeback. We was able to get some of the leaves off, and they're kind of sticking up here kind of halfway decently. They don't look like what I want them to, but nevertheless, sweet potatoes are extremely hardy. What we're going to do here is they're ready to actually go in the ground here. We've got a big rain moving in here tomorrow and these things need to go out ahead of a rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get down in here and kind of give you an idea and show you a little bit about what to be looking for on these if I can get them to come loose. What you see in here, you have this here. What I do is I'll take these and I'll just go ahead and break off because what you're going to do is be putting this thing underground. I break off all these lower limbs here, branches, till I get it down to where it looks like that right there. I got a couple of roots on it. That's all you really need for a sweet potato. It's just a few roots and then I take them from there and I put them over here in a container of water while I'm gathering the rest of them. When she comes back around, you'll be able to see. Now, here's another one here. As long as there's a couple of roots coming off of it here, what I do is I just go ahead and I break those off because it's got a root or two on it. Sweet potatoes are extremely hardy. Most of them will make it. Now, you'll have one occasionally like that one. See, it's still got a little root on it. As long as they stay damp and wet in the ground, they'll make it. Now, under a normal circumstance, what I'll show you here, I'm going to... I'll show you how disease spreads in sweet potatoes. I'll open up my pocket knife and what you want to do is this part that came off of the potato, you want to actually cut about a half an inch off of that because disease many times lies within that part that's right next to the potato down there. You want to cut that and get rid of it even though it has roots on it. That's how you keep from spreading disease in your stock whenever you're planting. And that right there, nine times out of ten, you put that in the ground, it's going to make a sweet potato. Now we're going to take here and go through here and try to get some more of these out of this bed so that we can take them over into the field. You know, we've already got our rows made up. You can see how the nice roots on them. Got a good little root system on it. I'm going to break off the branches because you want a long stem. You want them to get as deep in the ground as you can get whenever you plant them. A the difference in the color. There's a little bit of difference. You'll notice a difference in the color of it right here. You see where the color changes. This is kind of a dark color right here and you'll see it change like right in here. So what I do is I usually just cut that first little bit off right there. Okay. Um, one of the things I want to mention here as I pull these up out of the ground, I know a lot of people is going to be going, oh my gosh, there's not going to be any more sweet potato draws after this. Well, these potatoes will continue actually throughout most of the summer making draws. They just keep making them. They don't quit. I mean, you see how nice looking that is? It's got a good set of roots on it here. This is where your sweet potatoes come from. Not a bed like this one. Not, not this. This is just for growing slips. This will grow your big sweet potatoes. Okay, as we can see what we've got here in the bucket is our draws. We've probably got about 35 or 40 to start with. We're going to need a lot more than that. But um, as, it, as they keep making slips, we'll keep putting them in the field. When I was a kid, used to you, you could get these sweet potatoes like this. They came wrapped up in bundles like this right here. With a string tied around them sitting over in a foot tub full of water. Now I have noticed 
some of the feed stores I've been in does still do that, but they seem to be so late in the year that it's kind of kind of hard getting them started. But also, those of y'all who don't have a very big place to plant sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes can be grown in a container. You only want one slip or two slips per container, and they're going to make an enormous amount of vines. So keep that in mind wherever you put it. Some people like to put them up on trellises and let them grow up on a trellis while they're making the potatoes because they make a beautiful vining plant. They have a beautiful purple flower that comes on them usually. So keep that in mind if you don't grow sweet potatoes in the field and you just want to grow you some. You can grow them in a, you can grow them in a raised bed. You can grow them in a container. Just keep in mind that the vines, unless you buy a short vining type, the vines, uh, these are heirlooms. These vines on these will grow probably 10 to some of them even 20 feet long. So that's why we put these in the field. They're the old timey variety. Okay, we're over here in the field. Wanda is laying out the slips right now on the ground. I don't know if I can get it up where you can see it. She's laying the slips. About every two, a little bit close together, baby. Yeah, about every two foot apart. There you go. That looks good like that. Yeah, she's putting them about every two feet apart down through there. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how, as a kid, I was raised up doing this. The way the, we call it the old people doing it. Okay, we've got a stick made here. We go out in the woods and I cut down a little stick and it's got a little fork on the end of it here. What I do is I take that fork and I reach down here where these plants are at and you put it like right over the root of it right there and you just shove that plant down in the ground like that. Come back and just kind of punch a little dirt around it. Get some down in the ground. You don't have to dig any holes. Kind of get the gist of it here. Once we get these things down, we'll come back and Want to pour a little water in them holes. I'm still not able to tote anything yet, according to the doctors anyway. But he doesn't have to bend over this way. I don't have to bend over this way. So, but that's basically how you plant sweet potato draws. Okay, we've got the row in. Wanda's going back, doing the watering on them. Basically, all she's doing is just. Pouring a little water right around the plants. A little stick left just a little hole in it. That water just washes the dirt down and around the roots a little bit, and that's basically all you need. These rows have already been bedded up and fertilized before I went in for surgery because we knew this day was coming and we've just got to jump on it. All right, you can see. These were extremely long rows. We still got a long way to go. But the first pulling out of the bed, we got enough to do one long row. We've got two more rows here to fill up and we'll have our sweet potatoes for the year. Thank y'all for joining us on this journey of Deep South Homestead.